Good morning, welcome to Lillybrook. Something a little different today, but before I get started, you could double me up just by hitting the subscribe button. 50% of the people who watch me don't subscribe, so just give that little button a press. Make an old man happy, will you? Right, irons. Irons come in two sorts, don't they? You've got cast irons made of stainless steel, and you've got forged irons made of mild steel. Cast irons tend to be larger, have a larger sweet spot, they launch higher, and they're generally easier to hit. Then you've got the forged irons, which are softer, have good feel, good feedback, but they're smaller and therefore harder to hit. The question is, is, can you have the best of both worlds? Now, if you look around today's modern irons, I'm going to say no. Because even though they make these large, hollow irons now, they're still made of hard materials. So they sound bad and they feel bad. But if you go back about 18 years, you will find this. This is a large club. It's cavity back. It's got a milled pocket that you can put your fingers in, which helps reduce the weight where you don't want it and put the weight where you do want it. And it's forged. So it's got great feel. It's got great feedback. This is bloody good iron. The question is, is what is it? Well, it's a Mizuno MX-23 from about 18 years ago. And it's forged from Mizuno's finest, softest butter. And it feels great. And it's easy to hit, and it goes great. Should we get on the tee? Give them a go. I wasn't expecting the opening three iron to be brilliant, but I'm in the middle of the fairway. And that's six iron. Wow. Well, I've never been a particularly high ball hitter. So I'm not expecting to get these three irons in the air at all, really. But we're down the fairway. Sweet. Well, I think you can see why I don't carry a three iron anymore. Well, I haven't carried one for 20 years. I struggle to hit it high enough to be useful. So when you're going into a long par three or into a green, it doesn't get over bunkers, but it feels good. Let's hopefully get onto some mid irons and short irons and uh, see what they go like. Now, if anything's gonna test an iron, it's a shot like this back into the breeze to a very tight flag on a very tight green. Whoopee, that was perfect. Absolutely perfect. Right out the meat. <laughs> that's about 10 feet. Well, that's what you call a five iron, isn't it? That was an absolute peach and it felt great. That's the good thing, it felt great. It sounded great. This is not a cast club, but it's as forgiving as a cast club. Well, maybe there might be some modern ones which are a little more forgiving. But when they're forgiving, they're a bit vague as well. You don't get the feedback. Do you know what? Right at this second, I can't think of a single reason why they shouldn't go in my bag. Yeah, 18-year-old Mizunos. That's a birdie putt. Wrong way. 
think I've figured out the shaft now. Going down the left side, getting a bounce onto the green. I don't think I've hit a shot like that in ages. Must be the clubs. <laughs> well then, I haven't hit a three iron like that in a very long time. It's taken me a few shots to get used to these shafts. I mean, these clubs were made in the days when there wasn't 20 shafts in three or four different flexes. There was a lot less choice. But these are standard dynamic gold R300 lights. They're something I've hit before. It's just taken me a little moment to get used to that. But they're good. That three iron just felt absolutely fantastic. Now I'm going to stop hitting three iron off the tee and concentrate on my medium irons and my short irons now but that three iron felt great that felt Mizuno great playing the fourth from the fifth now I'm not a high ball hitter I've already mentioned that so getting over this tree with an eight iron it's actually a bit of an issue but I've done that just fine got it down a few yards short of the green I enjoyed that now one of the issues with this set I've got is the grips are a bit fat. I'm able to compensate for that a little bit. And this was a great strike, right out the middle. Just shoved a little right yeah, because of the grip. Well one of the issues with large clubs is getting out of this stuff. At 157, I've got a 7 iron, going to try and make it jump. Yeah, one of the issues with big irons is getting it through the rough. Now, I don't think this rough is long enough to make a difference because I've hit that so well, right into the heart of the green. But I was surprised by how well. Yeah, it's jumped, it's right in the heart of the green. Just a little past pin high. I love these. I can say with all honesty, but going for a back left flag with my current 4 iron is most definitely a no-no. But I've hit an absolutely perfect tiny draw directly at the flag. <laughs> I might have to buy these off you. <laughs> no for sale. <laughs> right then, before I get onto the lofts of these clubs, a little appeal. Mizuno, my cart bag is falling to bits and it's only two and a half years old. So uh, if you want to sponsor someone who's been playing Mizuno clubs from the driver to the putter for 33 years and nobody else is, I'm your man. And while you're about it, I could do with some shorts. Right, lofts, all fairly conventional really. The pitching wedge is 46, three iron is 21. So conventional at the bottom of the bag, 21's perhaps a bit weak compared to today's offerings, only a three iron. But uh, 171, uphill, into the breeze, four iron, and I'm just past pin high. I'm looking at my second two of the round. These clubs are good. Shame they don't make them anymore. These clubs are rather special. So if you're looking for something that's large and still forged, check out eBay. These are fantastic. Well, that was a four iron from 208, out of the rough. And I'm on the green. And it felt wonderful. And it was right out in the middle of the bat. And these heads are very nicely balanced. They're absolutely gorgeous. How much are they? Well, this is June the 7th. And at the moment on eBay, the average private seller price is £105. The shops, they're a bit more, about £150, £155. 
And there's one lunatic on there who's got a set and he's trying to sell them for 345. Good luck with that, mate. But for a price of a little over 100 pounds, you got the best of both worlds. These are amazing. I'm trying to think of a reason right now why I shouldn't buy these off my son and sell my MP18s. You know, my little modern forged irons. Yeah, I'm, I'm just looking down there at the green. Yeah, quality, absolute quality. Forgiveness, feel, sound, feedback, everything that you could possibly want out of a club with none of the downsides. Cheerio.